Hi and welcome to another pineapple painting tutorial. Today we will be painting two pineapples. The first will be with tea stained water and coffee stained water. The second will be with beetroot juice and red food dye. I am using an inexpensive watercolour paper and I have tea stained water, coffee and beetroot juice in front of the screen. I'm using a size 16 Montmart paintbrush. I have gone ahead and pre-sketched grey lead a pineapple design. The front of the pineapple has a lot of diamond shapes on it. At the moment I'm using the tip of the paintbrush and I'm painting my first layer of colour with the tea stain. The tea is the lightest compared to the coffee so I'm using the tea first. I'm using the tip of my brush so that I can accurately paint my diamonds and leave that white negative space. White paper is really important with watercolour otherwise you lose your design and you get the stain where you don't want it to go. So keep on the tip of your brush and paint away with your first layer of the stained water which in this case we're using tea. So now I'm going around the edges again using the tip and making sure I keep to my design of the diamonds. I'm now going ahead and painting the top of the pineapple. I'm using my paintbrush from tip to flatten the wider areas which is really important brush technique to keep your painting accurate. I'm leaving white negative space on the top of the pineapple too otherwise it just looks very very ordinary. So now I've grabbed my hair dryer and I'm giving my pineapple very light dry. I'm not fully drying this painting because I do want my neck stain with the coffee to bleed in some areas but some areas I'm going to be wanting some shading so I have given it a light dry. I now have my coffee stained water and I'm going in and adding my second layer which is a darker stain because we do work from light to dark with watercolour painting even though in this case we're painting with tea stain and coffee stain I'm adding some shading I'm not applying the second layer everywhere because I do want to get those tones in leaving the white where the light would be hitting and in interesting areas to create the shapes using the tip of my brush to keep the coffee stain exactly where I want it going around the edges leaving the white now I felt the first stain of coffee wasn't quite dark enough so I've gone and made an even stronger dilution and I've, once again I didn't dry it though I've gone in straight away with the dark coffee stain to add a third layer letting it bleed leaving the white negative space and it's giving my pineapple some even more three-dimensional shaping using the tip keeping the stain exactly where I want it. Where it's a wider space I will use the flat to push the stain where I want it to go. Now if you are somebody who doesn't like strong smells um, you may not like painting with coffee. I personally like drinking coffee so it doesn't worry me painting with it. Very different to the tea. The tea is similar to watercolour, it doesn't really have much of a smell at all but the coffee certainly does when you get up to a strong dilution as I'm painting with now it really does smell like you're at a cafe so something to think about but it is quite a pleasure to sit and paint with tea and coffee. I have painted with coffee before but before this video I hadn't tried tea so that was something different but I wanted to try something different for people at home who might not have access to watercolour paper. So that is it, you can see the water moving, I'm using the hairdryer and I'm drying my painting. And there is the final result. And now we have the beetroot juice and red food colouring stained painting once again of a pineapple. I'm using tip to flat here in my first layer. This is the beetroot juice. Now 
similar to watercolour that isn't that expensive, you will find painting with food dye and this beetroot juice to dry quite a lot lighter than when you actually apply it when it's wet on the paper. So I'm using an inex very inexpensive grade paper just for this tutorial for um, to show you that you can recreate this at home with inexpensive supplies. I'm using my diamond patterning once again. However, this time I decided to leave a white negative space inside each diamond to represent the nodule that pineapples have. Using the tip, I'm able just to go in straight away and paint diamond shapes. Leaving the white, same as the first painting, around each diamond shape. Now these videos are sped up, which I'm sure you've realized. So when you're painting at home, take all the time you need and relax and enjoy it. Beetroot juice does have a vinaigrette smell to it, so that might put some people off. It didn't worry me, being Australian, uh, we have beetroot in burgers and salads a lot, so I am very used to the smell. Now the centre diamonds will be bigger than the top ones and the bottom ones to represent the shape that the pineapple has in real life. So be aware if you want to replicate a diamond design to make your diamonds larger in the centre where it's wider and make them smaller at the bottom and the top. Using the tip of your brush is very important to paint and not get your stain everywhere. And I was actually pleasantly surprised at how light the beetroot juice was because I've never painted with it before and it comes out a beautiful light pink. It was so light. Originally I had thought I would be able to do my whole painting just continue, continuing to layer with the same beetroot juice. But it came out so light and dried even lighter that I thought, no, I need to make another dilution and I will add food, red food dye, which I did, and you'll see that in a minute. I decided with this design I would add some light pink in the background. When we paint uh, with one colour and one shade, it can be really, really effective. So don't be afraid to experiment if you're trying this at home. You can see I've gone in with another, I've tried to go in with a second layer of the beetroot juice and it just wasn't working for me. It was way too light for my liking. And you can see the background's already starting to dry and I have noticed that this is just drying so light. I'm not going to be able to get the layering and shading that I desired trying my best but I knew it wasn't working so I've taken some beetroot juice just grabbed a kitchen plate and I'm adding some red food dye and I didn't quite know what this would do but I was pretty confident it would be darker and it was I didn't dry my painting because I wanted it to bleed let it run and do some magic and I'm just pushing that stain where I want it to go but I'm leaving white and I'm leaving pink because it's really important that we do leave other layers otherwise it's just going to be one big red blob so I'm adding in some shading on my diamonds and this time I've decided to have my shading more in front whereas the previous one with the coffee and tea I did my shadow off to the right but I'm doing it more on the front 
using the tip, keeping that darker red only where I want it to go. And I really felt using the darker red really did make the pineapple stand out from the background. And I was really happy with this. Adding the food dye did make the vinegar smell a little bit less strong, but it was still there. I wanted to lift off some of the red and to bring a bit more light back into the painting. And there you have it, beetroot juice and red food colouring, pineapple fun. I hope you've enjoyed this video and give it a go yourself. All the best, take care, bye.